every new SketchUp file starts with a scale figure. And a lot of people don't realize that that scale figure is actually a real person that works at SketchUp. So this last year we had Sumele. She had the yellow dress with the uh, circles on it. And this year we are going to have Naraj. And Naraj works at SketchUp. He's going to tell us a little bit more about himself. So thanks for joining me, Naraj. Thanks for having me, Tammy. Yeah. First off, how did you feel when uh, SketchUp approached you uh, to be the new scale figure? Oh gosh, yeah. It's kind of a big honor. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. It definitely is a big honor. Um, I found out when um, you know our senior product manager Mark Harrison emailed me, um, and on the on the uh, subject line he said, "Hey Niraj, we want you to be dot dot dot." And then in the in the body, he is like the next scale figure for Schedule 2022, and that came as a huge surprise, right? It's it's such a huge honor and. Uh, I was I was excited, nervous at the same time because you know everybody who's going to be opening SketchUp in 2022 is going to see me pop up on their screen first, right? So yeah. uh, it yeah. was a little bit of nerve wracking as well. Yeah, very cool. And yeah. so your scale figure uh, is depicted by wearing a blue shirt and some pants and shoes. Um, it's really simple looking, but it's fairly intricate. It might be the first one that has shadows, uh, like a. Uh, applied to it or shadow uh, it appears to have shadows can you yeah. tell us who drew, did you draw that or yeah yeah i ended up drawing the uh, scale figure myself but with a lot of help and guidance from the product team mm -hmm. so mark and peter from the product team we had calls back and forth uh, you know editing the scale figure you know getting guidance from them feedback from them and this year the product team really um you know gave me the freedom to you know um you know, add in shadows. And actually it was Mark's idea to also, you know, make sure that there was somewhat of a three dimensionality to it as well, you know, cause as you know, scale figures are 2D. And so um, with their guidance and with their back and forth, uh, I ended up drawing it. And, and, and there's a whole documentation that the product team has prepared where, you know, it's not just how you take your picture for the scale figure, but how big the edges can be, how many, you know, colors you want in your scale figure so that, you know, the figure actually stays at a smaller size when you open up your sketcher model as well. Yeah. A lot of yeah. work to make something look really simple. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Simple. Yeah. So what is your role at SketchUp? Great. Um, so my role is a customer success manager. Um, and, um, you know, it, it's it's somewhat of a fairly new profession, I'd say. Uh, a lot of people don't know about it. Uh, for those that don't know, it's a, it's a role where, you know, you want to ensure that your customers succeed with your products. So you, day in and day out, you're really thinking about your customer, how they're using your products, what's working for them, what's not working for them. Communicate that to the product team to make sure that they have the insight into what's going on, how people are using our products. Work with the marketing team to showcase those that are successful with our products, those types of things. So it's really a role that you tend to wear a lot of hats, or at least you're connecting with a lot of the folks inside of the business to really ensure that the customers are successful with our products. So hence the name customer success manager. Yeah. 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 Very cool. So I have a little bit of uh, insight into Naraj's job. My partner, Josh, has the same role, same title, uh, yeah. but in a different region. So I get to see a lot of the ins and outs of their day. And uh, uh, they're really, the CSMs are really uh, the experts behind the scenes of uh, you know, just a wide array of SketchUp knowledge. So, um, yeah, it's really neat how you can get into the nitty gritty and, and uh, help your customers, you know, find uh, the information that they're looking for. Because SketchUp has, you know, as everyone knows, does uh, just a million different things, a million different ways. <laughs> so yeah. uh, you all yeah, are, no, are the unsung experts <laughs> on the team for sure. Uh, thanks, Tammy. Yeah. yeah, no, you're absolutely right. You know, and, and Josh, you know, he's my colleague and works in the central region. You know, I work in the West Coast region. And Josh, he's an expert in layout and SketchUp. And, you know, we rely heavily on him. A lot of us CSMs rely heavily on him for that expertise. And some of us have different expertise. Like myself, I come from the sustainable design background. And I, I you know, as much as I can, I provide my 
um, share of knowledge to our team as well. So it's really, when you think of a customer success manager at SketchUp, we're coming in with the full, you know, <laughs> group to help you succeed, you know? Yeah, yeah. To think about right. it, yeah. Yeah. So with your job, you do a lot of demos, you open up SketchUp and show the clients how to use something. Uh, how is it going to feel when you open SketchUp this year and you're standing in the model? <laughs> it is going to be nerve wracking for sure. Uh, because, you know, um, every time you open it, you're going to see uh, your likeness on the screen, right? And yeah. so it's going to be interesting. Uh, obviously, I'm not used to that level of attention, but uh, it's going to be a new experience for me as well. So I'm going to take it in stride and, you know, uh, have, have uh, a little bit of a laugh about it. Yeah, <laughs> and, yeah, you know, yeah, totally. Yeah. So uh, your likeness is going to be, you know, representing SketchUp over the next year, and it will continue to pop up in SketchUp. We all know the scale figures pop up constantly in the 3D warehouse. They usually, you know, people will leave the scale figures in there. Uh, so yeah, your likeness is going to be used throughout the history of SketchUp from now on. Mm -hmm. um, Josh called it, um, his image is immortalized in the pantheon of the SketchUp scale figure history. Um, his words, <laughs> he made it very grand, which it is. Uh, how do you feel about your likeness being a representation uh, uh, for SketchUp? Yeah, what does I that agree represent with... for you? Yeah. No, I agree with Josh. I mean, he he really eloquently put it that way, <laughs> you know, um, but it, it definitely is very huge uh, for me, at least because, you know, if you think about it, there's been, um, you know, gosh, maybe 16 or 17 versions of SketchUp out since its inception, right? And mm -hmm. there's been 16 or 17 people who have graced the uh, graced the access. So it's definitely, um, you know, an honor to be um, uh, one of them. And SketchUp obviously is a um, 3D modeling tool that I absolutely enjoy. It's not just, you know, for creating 3D geometry, it's fun and it's very therapeutic to use for myself as well. And so I'm really um, honored and, and, you know, happy to be a part of this legacy as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very neat. So can you tell us a little bit about your life outside of SketchUp, away from work? Sure. Um, so I have a young daughter. She's uh, going to be turning two soon. Uh, so outside of work, a lot of my life revolves around, you know, uh, spending time with her and making sure that, you know, I'm doing everything I can to, um, you know, um, uh, for her development as well. And uh, so obviously family is a big portion of, you know, the time that I spend outside of work and in the, in the in that process you know we like to go outdoors you know spend time in nature so a lot of hiking during the weekends and when the weather gets better maybe some camping as well but uh but that's typically where my where my time goes um i also like to uh, on the side you know 3d model uh so you know create sketchup models of you know everyday objects lying around in my home and so yeah. it's very therapeutic as i mentioned so uh, when i do have yeah. some time I, I do that as well yeah, 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 that's great. Yeah, you truly do enjoy using SketchUp then. <laughs> You're doing it in yeah. your free time. <laughs> so what is your favorite part of working for SketchUp? Um, sure. Um, so I'd, I'd say, you know, without a doubt, the culture at SketchUp. Uh, it's, it's um, you know, one of a kind, really. I mean, it's, uh, it's very open, fun loving, you know, supportive. Everybody's supportive of each other. As I mentioned, we rely on um, you know, all of our colleagues on the CSM team. Um, and, and it's not like, uh, you know, one really needs to go out of their way to get, you know, help from your colleagues, you know, they yeah. offer it to you and they're supportive. And they say like culture starts from the top down. So our leadership on the CSM team is, is very similar. They're supportive, open, fun loving. And, and it's the culture I would say that really resonates uh, about working at SketchUp. You know, I'm just hoping that the <laughs> pandemic dies down and we get to you know, get together again as a team. Yeah. It's it's a lot of fun when, when we're together. Yeah. Oh, I love yeah. that. Very cool. Well, Niraj, thank you for joining me. Uh, we all look forward to seeing you on the axes uh, throughout the year. So thanks so much. <laughs> thank you, Tammy. Thanks for having me.